Hi friends, this is Gautam Raj. In this video tutorial, I will explain the concept of NAT and PAT. The expansion of NAT is Network Address Translation. For what purpose we can use NAT protocol means to translate the private IP address into public IP address. PAT. The expansion of PAT is Port Address Translation. So using PAT, we can change port number also. So during the translation of private IP address into public IP address the port number also can be changed let's we can see network address translation so in this diagram this is an organization network in an organization network we can use private IP address here we can see 10.0.0.1 .0 10.0.0.2 so both are pri private IP address of class A range so this router can be connected to internet service provider so in this router we can configure NAT protocol network address translation protocol so the packet from 10.0.0.1 can be passed through this router means it automatically changes into the public IP address that is 171.69.58.80 so for what purpose we can use NAT protocol in this router means for security purpose only we can use network address translation protocol because if the data can be passed through the same IP address means in the public network anyone can access our anyone can hack our PC so we can translate the IP address an IP address is either local or global local means it is a private address global means it is a public IP address in local IP version 4 addresses are seen in the inside network that means inside the local network we can use only private IP address for class A the private IP address range is 10.0.0.02 10.255.255.255 in class B the private range is 172.16.0.02 172.31.255.255 in class C the private IP address range is 192.168.0.02 192.168.255.255 so without NAT protocol we cannot connect to the internet because the IP can be conflict because in local area network we can use only private IP address so without using NAT protocol means definitely there must be an IP conflict can occur so in real time also without NAT we cannot connect to the internet port address translation in port address translation can be otherwise said to be many to one address many to one mapping that means many private IP address can be mapped into single pu public IP address here port address also can be changed port number also can be changed here we can see this is an inside network in inside network we can use 10.6.1.2 and 10.6.1.6 so both are private IP address only so this IP address can pass us through this router means it automatically changes into 171.69.68.10 and port number also can be changed here we can see 10.6.1.6 port number is 131 it can be translated into the IP address can be translated first 171.69.68.10 then port number also can be translated 2032 here we can see this is our private IP address all these private IP address can be mapped into single public IP address translating inside source address here we can see this is an inside inside network here inside we can use source IP address 1.1.1.1 and 1.1.1.2 so first of all this source can be communicate with this destination 9.6.7.3 this is a source IP address this is a destination IP address first of all this IP address can comes to this router so in this router we can configure NAT protocol means it will check the NAT table here we can see 1.1.1.1 so it can be translated into 2.2.2.2 so after pass this so after this packet can pass through this router means automatically translated into source IP address is 2.2.2.2 then it goes to the internet in internet also the destination IP address also 2.2.2.2 then it can be received to the destination IP address 9.6.7.3 
so again this destination can replay to the 2 dot 2 dot 2 dot 2 again it can be translated into 2 dot 2 dot 2 dot 2 then it can comes to receive this router means again it can check the NAT table so 2 dot 2 dot 2 dot 2 can be translated into 1 dot 1 dot 1 so again this packet comes inside the network means automatically changes into 1 dot 1 dot 1 dot 1 configuring and verifying static translation so the syntax for configuring and verifying sta static NAT translation is in the router global mode we can give IP space NAT space inside that network is inside network or outside network it is a local area network that is a private network means we can give inside if it is global network means we can give outside so inside space source here we can mention the static NAT so you can use the keyword static then we can give the local IP address that local IP address is private IP address and global IP address is public IP address so this local IP address can pass us through the router means it automatically changes into this public IP address so we can establish the static NAT translation then we can go to that interface and mention IP NAT inside and outside so after configuring this after 